Matty, congratulations. We were sat just behind your dad, so I know how much he enjoyed tonight's game. Uh, great victory. What was it like to play? It was tough. Um, probably the toughest out of the five, I would say, in, in terms of our victories. Um, we don't make things easy for ourselves, do we? But I feel like we were very comfortable at 3-1. Um, we didn't play our best football tonight, but we've gotten a good habit of, of winning and, and being strong in those positions. Well, that, that goal kind of killed us a little bit and uh, it sapped us of energy a little bit, but delighted to get through. Um, and get a three points. Well, you got us in front with a very sweet strike. In terms of goals, that's 19 now for the season. Have you surpassed any targets you may have set yourself? No, not yet. 20 is the target. Um, I was hoping for a little penalty at the end of summer <laughs> to try and get me over the line, but 20 is the target. Always has been. Um, and that injury probably halted me a little mm. bit um, around December time, but hoping to get to that mark um, the sooner the better. Playing where you play, I mean, you get the best possible view of, of Jason Oswell, and he's Back banging form, isn't he? Four goals now in, in two games. What makes him such a prolific goal scorer? Do you yeah, think? just on that, I'm buzzing for him. Um, he, he's had his down moments recently, but I'm absolutely delighted for him. He's a great person to play off because mm. he's, he's weird. He's got this strength about him that you know he's going to uh, hold the ball up for you nine times out of ten. <laughs> Seven times out of ten, probably. <laughs> um, but he's good to play off and... and because we played together all season, we kind of know each other's game pretty well. And I think I started at Mac when he set me up for me second there, and, and from there, he's great yeah. to play off. But like I say, he's had his tough times, but I'm delighted he's back amongst the goals. And it, with him back in form, it, it kind of takes it takes the pressure off massively. Yeah. And uh, I expect him to carry on now for the rest of the season. So five wins out of five. A little bit of momentum now behind the team. You're up to fifth in the league table. You've got to be talking now about make, making the playoffs, surely. Yeah, of course, a bit of a cliche, but one game at a time, North Ferry be Saturday. Um, obviously, they've gone down, but they've already they've had some strange results yeah. recently. So I expect that to be a, a tougher than than probably people expect. Um, we carry on winning, and then hopefully we get in the playoffs. And, and you never know; we could even get a home tie. And if we get a home tie, it'd be absolutely unbelievable for the amount of fans. I think we'll get through the door here. Mm. I mean, I think there was close to three thousand on Tuesday night. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. Great to play in front of. In terms of your own personal life at the moment, obviously with the day job, you've got a bit of a break now. Yeah, for Easter. yeah, it's half term, so uh, I get a nice lie in in the morning, <laughs> which is a rarity. Um, it's good half term as well. Like Christmas is always tends to be like hectic, but this April half term or Easter half term, it's two weeks of just kicking back and chilling. Mm. I won't get to sleep till about one two tonight because yeah. the adrenaline and whatnot. But yeah. no, I'm looking forward to, to having a lie in in the morning. It makes it makes a change. Might go and swing some golf clubs tomorrow, you never know. Good for you. And the kids in sale, I mean, they're starting to really take an interest now in Yeah, the school, well, yeah. weirdly, the school kids all watch my YouTube videos, and <laughs> well, not mine, but the clubs, and I get hammered for it in school. If I've done a bad <laughs> celebration or missed a chance, I get reminded on a Monday morning. So they do take an interest. They know they know what's going on before I do the majority of the time. But now that's it's a nice part of it that, um, that students kind of know what I'm up to and, and take an interest, to be fair. In terms of what we need now, is it... I don't know, three wins, is that going to be enough now, do you think? I don't even look at it, to be honest with you. Um, I couldn't tell you how many, ga how many games are left. I think yeah. it's six, seven. Yeah, it's half um, so I've not even thought about how many games and the gaffer's not given us a target. And I think that's quite an important way or a good way of doing it is that every time we look at the next game, we don't look, right, lads, we need three. Yeah. Three wins to push it over line. I don't think we look at it that way. But Saturday, if, it, if we can win Saturday, it puts it, it puts in a great position. Then we've got some tough games coming up, Kiddie Blythe, Chorley. Um, who, are, who are all up there with us so it's uh, it's going to be an interesting one but we've, we've got ourselves in, in great shape well, It was good fun watching you and your dad tonight well done <laughs> Thank you very much <laughs> Thanks pal Thanks